Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video talking about my skincare. And I know you guys have been asking me a lot about my skincare. Like what have I been using? What have I been doing to get my skin to clear up and look amazing? Um, obviously I don't, I have on a full face of makeup right now, but my skin has totally improved from the last time that I've done a skincare video. My skin has improved. It was already improving, but it's definitely improved even more than that. So um, you guys asked what I I've been doing to clear my skin up what I've been using what products I've been using and you wanted to see an updated skincare routine after I do a skincare routine I always feel like there's a little bit something missing um, so that's why I've started kind of having these small chit chat with you guys um, just to kind of give you guys more insight on why I use some of the products that I use honestly there are a ton of factors that go into the health of your skin the overall condition of your skin um, there are a lot of different things that will let you know basically how healthy you are my skin can't be remedied with just one product it has to be a combination of the products that I'm using on top of my diet my health my overall health um, the environment that I'm in the stress levels that I have the sleep that I'm getting I mean it really depends on a lot of different factors and so I can't really just pinpoint one product and one thing that I use and say well this is what worked for me it really matters most what you're doing to take care of yourself and your health so I always recommend one taking care of yourself being healthy and, and keeping yourself balanced two I would always recommend if that is not enough for you to go to a doctor a dermatologist somebody who is a professional and knows what they're talking about and if that doesn't even work I would say go to a holistic doctor somebody who's a um, experienced doctor in holistic medicine that can tell you basically every single thing that's going on with you from the inside out because there's obviously something that isn't necessarily right that could be affecting your skin as well I know that my skin is always a mirror of what's going on, on the inside of my body my skin is always telling me what's missing so listen to your skin learn your skin listen to your skin learn what it is that actually affects you um, so that you can remedy it and treat it the way that it needs to be treated okay with that being said um, I wanted to mention that my skin is oily combination more so combination most of the time especially where I live my skin does suffer from a little bit of thirstiness my skin is dehydrated and needs to be moisturized and nourished and replenished just like everybody else's skin you have to stay hydrated you always want to make sure that you're not drying your skin out and irritating your skin with the products that you use I'm acne prone I'm prone to hyperpigmentation dark spots things of that nature even though my skin is cleared up and it my skin is definitely a lot better the condition on my skin is way better I break out I still get breakouts I, I am a woman so once a month I do break out around the chin area um, and when I'm dehydrated super super dehydrated I break out on my forehead and along my jawline especially when I'm on plane and when my pores are clogged here because I had too much pizza um, I break out there too yeah moving on to my skincare products this is what I use on a daily basis we got our hair in a pony and we're ready to party first I'm gonna start by removing my makeup most important step and then I will go in and wash my face it doesn't necessarily get all of the makeup out of my pores when I just rub a makeup wipe all over my face to remove my makeup so I like to get something that can actually break down the product and lift the makeup out of my pores if it wasn't my pores at all um, I want the product to be extremely broken down so that it's easier to wash off and the Clinique take the day off balm is bang for that. Stacks on deck, I just bought like five of these. So, no, not five, I have three. And you would basically use it like you would coconut oil or something. I always say don't use coconut oil if you have oily skin or acne prone skin. Um, coconut oil is comedogenic, which means that it is known to clog your pores so you definitely don't want to use coconut oil if you are prone to breakouts um, because it will break you out and I feel like using a cleansing balm or cleansing oil um, not only helps to break the product down but it does keep your skin moisturized and not feeling dry afterwards maybe that's just me this process works a lot better in my opinion and the reason why I don't use my fingertips is because I like to be functional when I do this um, just in case I forget something and I have to open the door I don't get makeup everywhere it gets everything up it doesn't snag my lips and make them more dry and crusty it doesn't pull out my eyelashes when I remove my eye makeup it just to me this really gives me a good removal without 
irritating the crap out of my skin right after you remove your makeup you're definitely not done makeup removal and face washing are two separate transactions all right they're two totally separate processes i don't do just one product to remove my makeup and wash my face won't happen never i always double cleanse so i will use double or triple sometimes i wash my face two times i don't normally congest my skin by wearing makeup every single day um i actually only wear makeup maybe two to three times a week any other time i'm working from home and I mean, if I film a video, I probably wear makeup for around three hours and then take it off. Um, this is my favorite face wash currently. This is the Face and Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Face Wash by Soap and Glory. Tell Soap and Glory to hit me up. I really love this face wash, not only because it just smells great and it's cute it's in the cute packaging it's blue i mean i just feel like the aesthetic appeal of it fits me perfectly as you can see how it matches my room perfectly i mean come on fam it gets my skin squeaky clean but it doesn't leave me feeling dry which is one of the problems that i find with a lot of face washes is that face washes are irritating because they make your skin dry i definitely try to steer clear of face washes that are way too drying way too harsh on the skin anything that's too abrasive that has little beads in it that like scrub your face and make your face even worse because because now you've got like tore up skin. Like I try to use stuff that's gentle, light, basically nothing, okay? Face washes that are just basic are the best. Uh, I don't need benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, all those different chemicals and things like that in my face wash. I just need something that's gonna wash my face, get it clean. Uh, to me, the main difference maker in your skincare isn't necessarily your face wash. So the face wash should be the most basic part of your skincare. Less is more when it comes to my face wash. So I don't really need a whole lot of chemicals. I don't need a whole lot of like mattifying and brightening and all that. I don't need a lot of stuff. I just need a good face wash that'll work. And get the skin clean. Okay, you know, this step is just to wash off everything that you didn't get with the balm, which the balm should have lifted everything out of your skin, but this is just to make sure that you got rid of all of the residue that may be left on your face. I will go over it with a paper towel. I'll just lightly swipe my face and see if there's any more residue left, any makeup residuals. But if the towel comes back clean, then you're good. You can use a toner. After washing my face, I'll go in with the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner. This is my favorite toner of all time. It's, it's an important step, but I don't always do it. Um, just because sometimes I'm lazy and I don't feel like using a toner. Your skin is actually still open, your pores are still open, and you need to restore the pH balance in your skin because you stripped of you stripped it of all of the moisture and oils, natural oils and all that. So you need to get your skin rejuvenated back in water, okay? And so I'm just gonna saturate a cotton and I'm gonna dab it. Helps clear impurities, it has tea tree oil in it, so that's what tea tree oil does. Um, but it also says it leaves the skin looking mattified, so I'm assuming that it's a mattifying toner. Um, I don't necessarily go for face products, like skincare products that say mattifying oil control, simply because I feel like the older I get, the more I need my oils and my moisture. Uh, number one, your oils keep you from cracking and wrinkling up. Two, your oils are necessary um, and keeping your skin from drying out. Who wants dry skin? I don't, I just, I care less about looking oily and more about being hydrated. The only product that I use to treat my acne is tea tree oil. I don't use any kind of cream, any kind of benzoyl peroxide cream, any kind of salicylic acid cream. There are tons out on the market that do work, um, especially in the acne.org line, if you've tried acne.org. For me, I don't need all of that, especially now since my skin is kind of cleared up, um, because I feel like the tea tree oil does the job. Because at night, your face goes through all of its repair, reconstruct processes while you're sleeping. That's why sleep is important. It goes into repair mode when you're asleep. You wanna help aid in that repair process. Um, so this is where the magic happens. This is where we do the dirty work. Your skin knows what it's doing, so your skin is gonna repair itself or at least try to repair itself. I don't think there's anything wrong with using a serum or something to help aid in the repair process of your face. I use serums that brighten and serums that help to refine the skin, get rid of texture and get rid of dark spots. Products that are kind of like an all-in-one thing that do more than one thing are what I look for. If you haven't heard me talk about the AHA cream from acne.org, it's basically the best 
magical solution in a bottle that I've ever used. This is what I've been using for the past year or so to help my skin to lighten the dark spots, to just change the surface of my skin as far as like the roughness, the texture, the small little fine bumps that you can't seem to get rid of. Um, I've talked about alpha hydroxy acids before on my channel a long, long time ago. If you've been following me for a very long time, I did my very first skincare video and I talked about this type of product, not this exact one, but I've talked about um, AHAs and what they are and what they do. Basically, they help to renew and replenish and revive the skin. It's actually helping to repair and create new skin cells um, and make new skin. If I can say any product has helped my skin, this one has, along with other changes in my diet and things, drinking a lot of water and things like that. Now, another product that I can say has helped my skin a lot in the past couple of weeks um, would be the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Got this and the Sunday Riley Juno Face Oil. I got both of these from the skin store online. If you wanna check that store out, it's basically like a beauty store. So this is what I call grown folks skincare. I feel like this is a grown woman product, um, but I feel like the older I get, products like this are more appealing to me. Now, when I was younger, I probably wouldn't use something like this because one, I couldn't afford it. So that's where acne.org comes in and you would use something like this. These are cream exfoliators. So the thing about cream exfoliators, liquid exfoliators, is that they are not going to further irritate any breakouts because a lot of times you using a scrub and manually exfoliating your face, it's gonna cause the bacteria to spread, which is why some people experience breakouts with the Clarisonic. I tend to use products like this because they do exfoliate your skin gently. I mean, the Good Jeans is the all-in-one lactic acid treatment. It's supposed to help pump the skin, get rid of age spots, discoloration, brighten the skin, fine lines, wrinkles, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, the older I get, the more I care about the overall glow of my skin, the health of my skin, and staying hydrated. I don't know, I just feel like it has helped my skin brighten up so much. But like I said, you can get the same effect with this product. I just feel like the Good Jeans works a little bit faster. So, I mean, it just depends on, you know, how fast you want to go, baby. I use these in place of each other. I do not use these together. Do not recommend that. Only because if you use too much of an alpha hydroxy acid, like AHA or lactic acid on your face, it will make your skin thinner. They can be used in place of each other and they both work amazing. And so. if you're in the market for an expensive um, luxury skincare product, then go ahead and get it, girl. Treat yourself. And then after I go in with a serum, I will go in with a moisturizer. I currently am using the Juno face oil. This is a hydroactive cellular face oil. Um, and it has antioxidants and superfood in it. It's got vitamin A, vitamin C to help brighten the skin, increase collagen, keeps the skin hydrated. This is for people who want to lighten and brighten and, and youthify their skin and have that lustrous glow, you know, like you have sex every morning. Then I go in with my lip care. I do come in contact with another human being, so I feel like they should be taken care of at all times. And I like for my lips to be beautiful because my lips are big and luscious and they just gotta look right. My lips are really dark in the corners and that is because I had an allergic reaction um, to a lip plumper that I used. So I'm currently in rehab. My lips are in rehab right now and I've been scrubbing them every night and I've been using the MAC Lip Scrubtious and this is the brown sugar one that's my favorite. I also have the uh, bubblegum one. <coughs> And then after that, I go in with the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, and that's how I take care of my lips. Um, in the morning, I don't wash my face. I feel like washing my face after doing all of that the night before is just redundant. And to me, washing my face makes my face even more dry throughout the day, which makes me more oily. I simply rinse my face with cold water, and then after I do that, I will go in with my moisturizers and protectors for the day, my shields. If you are going to be wearing makeup, but even if you're not, it's definitely good to keep your skin um, covered and hydrated at all times um, just because there are harmful UV rays harmful bacteria in the air you never know what you're gonna run into especially if you're traveling normally I will always do the same routine every morning no matter if I'm wearing makeup or not just to make sure my skin is protected because the thing is when you're using products um, that do help with 
lightening and brightening your skin, you're more susceptible to sun damage. Most products that contain like any skin lightening agents in them, whether they are natural or chemical, you should probably use a sunscreen. Um, and a lot of people don't feel like they need sunscreen, especially people with a lot of melanin because we feel like we don't burn as easy, so we don't get uh, as much damage from the sun. But if you are using any type of product that is making your skin a little bit more sensitive to sunlight, you're gonna wanna use a um, sunscreen or something with an SPF in it. Um, this is the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, and this is the C Firma Day Serum, which is basically a vitamin C serum. And I use the vitamin C just to give me an added boost for my face, just to help with brightening and con to continue what I was doing the night before throughout the day. Um, and the vitamin C serum just makes my skin so soft. Like when I the first time I used it, it was like amazing. You don't have to use a vitamin C serum every day, um, but I would recommend using something to moisturize your skin. So moisturization is key in the morning. So I always use the Benefit Dream Screen, which has SPF 45 um, and it's oil free. I like the consistency of this because it's very lightweight and silky and it doesn't make me oily. Um, so I can wear it underneath my makeup and my skin will be totally fine. Even if I don't really need them, if I'm not going anywhere that day, if I don't leave the house all day long, I still feel like my skin is being protected and taken care of regardless. So I'm very, very pleased with how my skin looks at the moment. My skin is looking pretty good. I still have dark spots, of course. Uh, you know, some of them are more new, so that's why they are not completely gone. And then there are some that are very, very old that I'm still trying to get rid of. So some of these down here that are really, really old, um, and they have been there for a long time, they're gonna take a while to get rid of because <laughs> they're basically engraved in my skin so I feel like that's something only like a chemical peel or something might fix but I'm scared to get a, chem get a chemical peel so I don't know yeah so this is the progress my skin has made but yeah that's it I will talk to you guys in my next video uh, and that's it <laughs>